Shalom Yeshua. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Ophel Akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. I long to Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of false side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel, i.e. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amaf by the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, We Are Not of Them Who Draw Back Unto Perdition. I just going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, I'm going to start the book of Hebrews at the 10 and verse 38. And it reads, Now the just shall live by faith. Right. And we understand that the, that the just is the elect men of Israel. You know, because when you define the word just in the blue letter, it's from the Greek word dikaios, dikaios, which means righteous. Uh, we go around, it says approved of or acceptable of Yahweh. Right. You know, because we understand the most high Yahweh, you know, he approved he is approved, he approves of his elect and he accepts them. You know, because you know, we understand that Yahweh Shah blood uh covers the elect the whole nation of Israel, but it begins with the elect of Israel. You see? So just means righteous, you know, and the continue on the scripture it says, Now the just shall live by faith, you know, because the righteous, the elect, they are gonna be the only individuals upon the earth very soon. Or or as of right now, they are the only one individuals right now that have faith in Yahweh Bashmo Shai that's in the truth. It says, But if any man draw back, meaning, you know, if any Israelite individual uh withdraws from this truth they leave the truth they forsake Yahweh by Shai. my soul shall have no pleasure in him yet you know so if you leave this truth if you follow the truth man then you know Yahweh by um has no pleasure for you you know because you know it's like you're spitting in Yahweh Shai's face you know it's like you're looking at Yahweh Shai's death as insignificant, you know. It uh, says, um, verse 39, it says, But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Yeah, you know, and the word perdition means destruction because the individuals that forsake Yahweh by Shemoshai, forsake the brotherhood, you know, they're they're gonna they're uh the Lord is gonna reserve them until the day of destruction, or the Lord can just take them out immediately because there's been many examples. The Lord doing that, you know, um, um, you might hear about some, uh, a former brother that was in the truth, you know, he may have fell out the truth and the Lord took him out maybe the next week, you know, it depends on, on, uh, it all depends on the will of the Lord, you know, what the Lord can reserve you as well, preserve you to the day of destruction, as the scriptures say. So we are not of, of those individuals that withdraw from the truth, you know, uh, because the Lord has embedded that fear upon us, you know, and Lord, when we party elect, you know, that the Lord will keep his Holy Spirit upon us until the end to, to endure hardness as a good soldier in the truth. It says, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Yes, yeah, so we are of them that believe. You know, we believe in Yahweh Shai. We believe in the prophecies, man. Because, why? Because the Lord put the Spirit on us to do so. Because remember, uh, you know, as it says in um, Ephesians, let's get it real quick. You know, 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of Yahweh. Yes, yeah, so the fact that we have this faith and and that we're still in the truth, you know, and uh as of right now, that's all of Yahweh Shmo Shah, it's not of our own will. 
you know, and having the, having faith in it, being in the truth is a gift, you know, because not all, uh, uh, to all does not give it, you know, uh, so all Israelites don't have this gift that we have, this, this, this faith, this knowledge, because we have, we have the highest, highest, um, knowledge on earth, man, you see, by us, you know, we know the prophecies, we know what's going to come, you know, according to the Lord's word. So that's a great gift, man. And we can't uh, take that lightly. You see, because if he was a leader true, where are we going back to? You know, we've seen everything. This place is falling. You know, with the inflation, you know, the love of millions waxing cold. You know, uh, everything is high. Um, it's getting more. Uh, Jake is getting more. Two-thirds of Jake in the world, the wicked Israelites, they're getting more darker. You know, these jobs is demanding more out of you, you know, causing you to, you know, be more tired. You know, where are we going back to? But this is uh, St. John 6 and verse 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of, uh, it's like, let's, let's start at verse 66. Um, it says, from that time, many of his disciples went back. And walk no more with him. Yes. So these were all the Israelites that fell out the truth back then. You know, because um reason why they had left because you know they thought our Lord Yahweh was, you know, talking about cannibalism. You know, he was saying in this chapter, you know, if he if you drink of me or if you eat of me, then you shall never, you know, taste death. Let's just get it. Um let's see, uh I just want to make sure I get it. I don't want to be, yeah. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, uh, verse 53, Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, which means truly, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, do you have no life in you? Whoso eat of my flesh and drink of my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. It says, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I him. Now, when these Israelites, these Israelites that wasn't part of the elect, they thought he was actually, they, they thought he, um, our Lord Yahweh was actually talking about cannibalism, man. Like, nah, this, you know, he's talking about spiritually eating of him by digesting the word, you know, believing in him. You see, so because it says in verse 52, the Jews therefore struggle among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? You know, so they thought these Israelites that wasn't of the elect, you know, they thought our Lord was actually talking about cannibalism, man. But nah, he was talking about, you know, eating and drinking of him spiritually, man, you know, by believing on him and, 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 uh, uh, devouring his wisdom spiritually, man. But it wasn't meant for them to receive that saying, that hard saying at that time, because it wasn't part of the elect. But this is the spirit we're supposed to have that Peter had. Um, jumping down, uh, 60, verse 66, from that time, many of his disciples went back, you know, and they went back into the world. It says, and walk no more with him. Then say, Yahweh shall unto the twelve, will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Yeah, so that's the same spirit we're supposed to have, man. Where are we going to go back to? You know, going back to celebrating these wicked holidays, you know, celebrating Christmas, thanks, uh, your birthday, your uh, Halloween, all these wicked pagan holidays, going back to celebrating that, going around, going back to the Christian church or you know, whatever you were in before you came to the truth or just being a scammer and being a nigga, you know? Where are we going back to, man? You see? Like, we, we, all that, all that shit is darkness, man. You know? But let's continue. It says, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Messiah, the son of the living God, man. So, Peter, and uh, the other uh, disciples, they they knew for sure that Yahweh Shai was a, was a uh, son of Yahweh, man. 
was a, was a beloved son of the Most High Yahweh. You know, and we believe in it through the scriptures, man. And we know for sure, you know, because the Lord has given us that spirit of uh, uh, to be a uh, um, uh, 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 persuaded that, you know, this is the truth. You see, it says, verse 70, Yahweh shall ask them, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is the devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. So, yeah, so even amongst the disciples, the twelve disciples, which later became apostles, excluding Judas Iscariot, Judas Iscariot, he was a he was a, uh, a demon. You know, he, he would be the one that betrayed our Lord, Yahweh, you know. So the point I want to get out that account was where are we going back to, man? And remember... You know, because you had a lot of men that forsake, that forsook Yahweh Shmoshar due to due to having a woman, or due to a job, man, or getting their own business. You know, and they put all those things, all those worldly possessions, over the Lord. You know, remember the Lord said, "He's a jealous God." You know, so it's not gonna it's not gonna end well, for, you know, for those individuals that will put all these worldly affairs over him you see the lord doesn't like that man um this is jeremiah 23 and 24 it says can any hide himself in secret places that i shall not see him and that's the thing when jake leave the truth you know they think that they can hide from the lord man you know they really think that this place in america is not going to be destroyed like Apostle R always said, why why Jake never leave the country? You know, because they still believe that they don't believe that this place is gonna be destroyed. But ultimately the Lord put that put that put that on their mind to want to stay here, man, so they can be destroyed here. You see? It says, Save the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth, save the Lord Yahweh. Yes, so the Lord sees everything. No one can hide from the Lord, man. And when you go back to the world, it's not gonna be easier for you. You know, yeah, you know, the Lord and the Lord can have Satan bless you, you know, um, to to get that job you always wanted or that car or that woman. But guess what, man? <laughs> it's short lived, you know. So you might have all these worldly possessions once you leave the truth, you know, because the Lord can use Satan to bless you, you know, but. In the back of your mind, you still thinking, you, you still know you were Israelite, man. You still, you know, like, damn. You might see a lot of judgment going out. You, and the Lord can put, put in your mind, like, damn, like, you know, judgment going out. So you're, you're not right in the mind, you see? And and that's fear, and that's a very scary thing, man. I, I don't want the Lord to do that to me, you know. Um, you know speaking of myself, you know, first and foremost, you know, I don't want the Lord to take his Holy Spirit from, from me, man. You know, because it's very, very scary. Very scary. You know, we've seen, you know, my short time in the truth, I've seen men that I looked up to once before get the Holy Spirit taken from him, man. It's very scary. Very scary, man. You know, that's why we got to be humble, continue to, continue to push the work. But this is Second Peter 2 and verse... Uh, 20 it says for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of, and of the lord and savior yahweh shah mashiach yeah that applies to you know the the uh the brothers i was once in the truth they fell out you know which you're not really brothers but you know the men that was in the truth that once fell out it's like the men in the truth that fell out you know see they escaped the pollution of the world when they was in the truth because remember the lord gave them once you come in the truth, you have a hedge of protection from the Lord. So you're escaping the pollution of the world, the different doctrines, the ways of life. You know, that's not going to taint your mind once you're in the faith. But if you leave the truth, then you're tainted. Your mindset will be retainted again. You see, it says they are again entangled, entangled therein and overcome. See, they've been entangled there and they caught up in this world, man. You know, and the world overcame them. See, we want to overcome the the world through the blood of Yahweh's side, man. Lord willing. 
You know, we don't want this world to overcome us, man, to have spiritual date, to have spiritual demons, Satan, sift us out the faith. You know, because every, because everything starts in the mind, man. You know, just like on the right hand side, when Yahweh said, you know, uh, he was talking about the mustard seed, you know, it's, it's very small in the beginning, but when it grows, it's this big, huge tree. So that's on the right hand side, but with balance, you know, it can, that can, that can, that happens on the left hand side too, you know, uh, you know, they may, you know, get, get a little doubt, you know, for the men that fell out, they may, they may get a little doubt, like, man, what happened? Damn, I don't think this is the truth, man. You know, why are we so hated? You know, for the ones that don't understand the, the fallouts. Then that, then that starts to grow. It gets stronger. The next thing you know, they don't want to do do it, do this no more. You know? So that, and that's a very scary thing, man. But it says the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So their, their, their latter end is, is way worse um, when they felt when, when when fallouts fall off the truth, they're worse than they were when they before they came in the truth. For example, they may have been smoking smoking weed or something, right? But when they lead the truth, they're doing they they're doing worse drugs now. You know, smoking cocaine and uh, uh, popping pills and uh, you know. Uh, uh, doing, being being a uh, being a mo. You know, so that they so them demons go strong on 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 them, on the left hand side, and they become a worse individual. You see. It says verse twenty one. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, than after they that, after they have known it to turn away from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Yeah, so. It was it was better for them not even to know, to to be in the truth if they was gonna fall out, because it's, it's not gonna end well. You know, so you are better off, you just stay in the world, rather than you coming the truth, then you fell out fall out the truth, because you're gonna you're gonna be that servant that's gonna be beaten with many stripes, man, and Lord not gonna have mercy on you at all. You are gonna get the uh, severe judgment. You see. Verse 22, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog has turned to his own vomit again because the actual dog, they actually, when they vomit, they actually eat it up. So spiritually, you know, and a dog is an unclean animal. So that applies to individuals that left the truth, you know, and they going back to their own vomit again, their own bullshit again, man. You know, going back into being a nigga again. Which the Lord looks at that, looks being a nigga in the world, you know, as vomit. The Lord doesn't delight in that spirit, man. Uh, being in that nigga spirit. It says, and the soul, which is a pig that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. So a, a pig that was clean, you know, because, you know, a pig is filthy. Uh, another filthy animal, uh, unclean animal. You know, you can wash out the pig. Or water, but that shit gonna go right back on the farm and go right get get down and dirty in that mud again, man. So that applies to individuals. They was they was washed with the with the with the word when they repented, but they went right back into the world, which which was that mire, that mud, that filthiness, man. You see. So got one more scripture. It's not gonna end the world, man. First John 2 19, they went out from us, but they were not of us. But if they had been of us, they would not, no doubt, have continued with us. And right. Now, this doesn't apply to brothers that have, you know, because sometimes you may have brothers that leave, you know, a great millstone camp, but they but they still teach them that that this that this doesn't apply to them. You know, this scripture applies to fallouts that completely left the Lord and stopped teaching. You know, this doesn't apply to brothers that have may have left, you know, camps and they start doing their own thing. This doesn't apply to them. You know, this scripture applies once again, this scripture applies to individuals 
that had completely left Yahweh by Shimon Shai and left the truth, they stopped doing the work altogether. You know, it said they would no doubt have continued with us, but that but they went out that they might be made manifest, made known that they were not all of us. Yes, yeah, so you know they were crept in unawares, man. You know, uh, for the ones that left the truth, you know they were crept in unawares, man. They wasn't uh, they wasn't part of the elect. You know, and that's one thing we gotta set while being in the truth, man. You're gonna have brothers, you know, that you labor with that's not gonna make it, that's gonna fall out, you know, and you know, you might, and, you, and, and that brother, that brother might have been real cool with you, man, you know, and he, he left the truth because, you know, he got tired of, of suffering for Yahweh Bashimoshah, he got tired of afflictions. You know, he got tired of doing the work, you know, and I mean, it's sad, but hey, this is the Lord's movie, man. He he he, he does what he wants to do. So he puts spirits on individuals to leave, which are the two thirds and non elect. But he also had put spirits on individuals to, to remain to remain in truth to the end that will be saved, which is the elect of Israel, you know. So you know, that's pretty much it. I just want to make a lesson on that. Um. You know, we are not of them which draw back into perdition, man. You know, and Lord willing, you know, we are those men. And we endure hardness as a good soldier. I just get that last scripture. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 13. And the Shah speaking. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And right, and Lord willing, that applies to us, man. Because only elect is going to be the individuals that endure to the end and they're going to be saved so you know Lord willing I can and uh, until next time Shalom